Hey guys, it's Justin, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install a threadless headset on a threaded fork. And uh, so what you're going to need, you're going to need the headset itself. Um, I have it all organized right here. The bearings, they're sealed bearings. And if you got like a FSA the pig, it would come with these kind of bearings, probably already in the cups. Uh, the cr compression ring, the lock nut, and the top cap for it and the two cups, bottom and top. And then um, you get the crown race on there. And how you would get that on there, you would take um, on the fork, you would take like some kind of a tube or pipe, put it over there, and then just hammer it down. Um, so yeah, or take the flat head like this, and take a hammer, and just do that. And then also, oops. Uh, you're going to be needing a fork spacer if you have one, but it doesn't really matter. just makes it a little smoother, fork spacer. And then, all right, getting started to putting on the cups, I already have them installed because it's faster and better that way, but I'll show you how. Um, for, ma for materials, you're going to be needing this vice grips or a monkey wrench, something like that, a hammer, um, an Allen wrench to take off your bars. That's all you need it for and put them back on and a, a flat head and a 4x4 four four or some kind of piece of wood you can use. Alright, to put on the cups, I have two cups here. If you don't know what cups are, these are the cups. Things that go in the deck like in my blunt ace of spades, like that. And uh, so to put them in, um, you're gonna like you can just lay them on top like that and if you want them to get scratched up or if you don't, um, if you want them to, you can just hit them in like that. And but the best way to do it is put like um, four by four piece of wood on it like that, and just hammer it in like that. It'll take a while, but it'll go in. And you just gotta like maneuver. And then uh, it takes a while to do that. That's why I want a bigger piece of wood to do it. And it's kind of hard to do that. But I already, like, did it ahead of time. So I don't have to worry about it over here. Um, so, yeah. Once you have the two cups in, um, using the hammer or the, and, like, this method, um, and the 4x4, four four, you're going to want to take the bearing. Well, first, you're going to want to take the fork and... Uh, if you have the crown race already on, you just hit a hit it with the hammer and a flathead, and then you want to put it. In. Well, first I forgot you have to put the bearings in, so you're gonna want to put the bearings in first, um, however way they go. It's kind of dirty there. Ew. All right, and put the bearings in the cups like that. And you can see I have the bangs in. And now you're going to want to put the fork on. And then once you got that, you're going to want to put the top or the compression ring over the bearings like that. As you can see. And then put the top cap, top cap over that. And then that's all you do. And then, um, since it's thread, it's since it's threaded, it'll just pop off and get all loose. So that's why there's a need for uh, a lock nut. And so all you do is just uh, tighten it. And you can get this from uh, like any threaded razor headset. You have to put it on. God, I can't even get this on. Oh my God. All right, there we go. And then it takes a little while to do. That's all you have to do, and then I'll do it real fast. Probably gonna get bored, but whatever. That's how you do it, and then, okay. If you're having problems with the cups, you can get them professionally installed, but it takes a little while. You can put them in like um, 
like you can like vice it and then like hammer it in or do really anything just to hammer it in the head tube. Um, that's all you really have to do. I, I almost have this headset on. This is a District Pro headset. Alright, it's almost on. Alright, it's pretty smooth, but since I want it to be tight and dialed, tighten it. Tighten it more. See, and that's the need for this. You want it a little tighter. There we go. And so it's solid, bouncy. And um, then you're going to just use the Allen wrench, put on your bars. That's all you have to do. And then that's how you install a threaded or threadless headset on a threaded fork. So, yeah, that's all you have to do. So, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just comment below and I'll be happy to answer it. As you can see, it's in there. Oh, yeah, and if you have any comments or anything, um, I'll be happy to answer them about, like, anything, about if you're having any problems putting in the cups or anything. I'll make a separate video, actually, of me doing the cups and putting them in. And, uh, yeah, if you want me to. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so, thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Hey, guys, uh, so that's how you install a threadless headset. What I have here, um, we'll go from top to bottom for pieces. All right, so we have the crown race under on the fork with the fork spacer, the bottom cup, uh, the sealed bearing, and then up here we have a top cup with the sealed bearing, and then in between... The top cap, we have a, a compression ring in between the cup and the top cap. And then we have a lock nut in silver. And uh, yeah, that's how you, like, I already showed you how to install it. And it's pretty smooth. You can hear that. Tell me if you can. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just uh, tell me. And uh, yeah, drop test. It's pretty solid. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.